We are going to begin a video today on a, a writer that uh, is quite interesting. His name is Lex Hickson, and this book is called Coming Home by Lex Hickson. And you can see right there what it's about. It has to do with the experience of enlightenment in sacred traditions. Now, what this means is he has investigated many sacred traditions, I believe 10 of them in here, and each one of them is investigated in, in great detail and in great depth. But he has a particular way of doing it, and the reason for that I found out recently in some files that I have. In fact, I got a very large file from this group that I belong to, and it's called Euro-Asian Philosophy and Quantum Mechanics. It's a 906-page PDF file about that subject. And during that, it goes through all kinds of the history of thinking, uh, all kinds of, of uh, cultures, and all kinds of, of, of ways of understanding the universe and quantum mechanics. Now, the footnote style in this book was done by a man called a famous guru from the East called Nikhil Ananda, N-I-K-H-I-L-A-N-A-N-D-A, -A -A -A, Nikhil Ananda. Now, what I found out about Nikhil Ananda was that he was a founder of what's called the Ramakrishna Vivekananda Center in New York City where all kinds of wonderful Eastern and Western work was done together. And the greatest thing that that Nikolananda did was to translate from Bengali into English the gospel of Sri Ramakrishna. And that is a huge PDF file, 1,176 pages long. And it has to go through that person's entire enlightenment experience and all of different religious traditions he came to and how he tended to find the root of them all in some essential center. Well, I found out through reading these files that Lex Hickson was one of the uh, disciples of that famous guru Nikhil Ananda. I did not know that. But now that I found out that he was a disciple from him, that helps me to understand why this man could go into so many different religious traditions and know them so well. Because in this book, he doesn't just do them as you might read them ordinarily, but he has, I would say, more insight into them, deeper insight into them, and he comes much closer to what's at the heart of them rather than the surface. So what we will do as we go through this, I will tell you what the chapters are, and then you will have some idea what the book is about. Now, we can't do all the chapters in one sitting here. I may have to go through this a second time, but we'll see. But the first one Chapter one is called Contemplative Thinking, the European and Asian approaches of Heidegger and Krishnamurti. And that's chapter one. Chapter two is called The Tantric Way of the Goddess Kali, K-A-L-I, Ramakrishna of Bengal. Now, chapter three is called the Way of Natural Enlightenment, and that is by Rama Maharashi. Now, what we'll do now is we'll stop here at chapter 3, and then we will go from here through the rest of the chapters to give you something about what the rest of this book is like. I hope you enjoyed this beginning tour of Lex and Hickson, and we will continue with Lex shortly.